Hey everyone, Chris Tarnett here for CarPlayer TV. For this edition of Strategy, I've got Phil Galfond here, also known as OMG Clay Aiken. How's it going? Pretty good, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. Of course, Phil is known for playing some of the highest stakes of Heads Up Hot Limit Omaha, so that is what we are going to talk about today. Cool. All right, so let's talk about pre-flop strategy. Um, how often, or what percentage of hands would you say that it's appropriate to raise pre-flop in position? Heads up in position if you're 100 big blinds deep or so, uh, or more, especially if you're more, you can pretty much raise any hand. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say you could get away with raising every single hand against a lot of players if they're folding too much, or um, you know, if you want to cut back on some hands, even just cutting back on like when you have trips or quads in your hand, or just like really terrible hands fold. But the position is so powerful in PLO, and um, they just aren't going to have hands, like they shouldn't be defending enough to make it not profitable for you to just raise everything. Is it ever um, appropriate to limp in on the button? Yeah, I think uh, it's more appropriate um, when you're shorter stacked and you're in a spot where you don't want to raise and get three bet and maybe have to fold, maybe have to call, have, have it a close spot. Um, so like some hands you'd rather keep stacks relatively deep um, with weaker hands and not get that much in preflop. But when you're 100 big blinds deep or more, I think that you can pretty much raise every hand and mm -hmm. uh, probably be more profitable than limping most of them. Okay. Um, now, what about uh, re-raising out of position? Um, what kinds of hands are, are you three betting? And of course, it depends on different kinds of players. But right. Yeah, I mean, your premium hands are um, obviously your high card, you know, single suited, double suited hands like ace, king, jack, ten. Uh, with a suit or two suits, it, your three betting range depends a lot on your opponent. Like you said, if you have somebody who's opening every if every button, like me, mm -hmm. then um, you have to three bet wider for value because they have so many weak hands. Mm -hmm. And you do have to balance as far as you know. You can't just have high card hands. You have to mix in your premium, you know, low mid card hands. So like three, four, five, six, double suited. Mm -hmm. You should be three betting so that when the flop comes, two, three, four, they can't know that you never have that flop nailed and um, so really look for like hands with connectedness uh, suited double suited um, definitely try to avoid overplaying like weak aces like ace ace ten five single suited or off suit like those play really badly you know with deep stacks out mm -hmm. of position um, so yeah mostly look for connectedness double suitedness like I said things definitely. like that when you're when you're in position and like let's say you raise with ace ace xx mm -hmm. and the flop is king jack seven and you they check you bet and you get repotted I mean how often you are you continuing here it would have to be like a pretty specific kind of opponent where I'd mm -hmm. where I'd continue with that hand it's, um, against any hand that's like somewhat legit any any value raising hand or like any decent draw you just have terrible equity you know, mm -hmm. you have no outs to improve. Even even your two aces um, bring a straight, so like a queen ten straight. So yeah, I'd be folding, and you know, you sometimes have to wonder maybe you shouldn't be c betting with that hand uh, if you have mm -hmm. to fold. And I think sometimes you should check it behind for pot control uh, if you're up against an aggressive opponent who's going to be check raising a lot. But yeah, usually a good play is just to bet fold. Mm -hmm. You do get value from worse hands um, that are just calling too light or draws the peel, and then you can check it down. Hopefully, things like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's it's it's it feels like a strong hand to players transitioning from no limit, but exactly. just an overpair is not a strong hand. Free flop, a uh, good way, especially out of position or even in like a six-handed game, to approach hands like um, king king five six, uh, rainbow, is to look at it as like pocket threes in uh, no limit, where you're basically just playing to hit your set, and right. otherwise you don't have a hand Need to anymore. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest mistake you see beginning Putnam Omaha players making when they play heads up? Definitely the one you were talking about with just like getting in that spot with aces mm -hmm. um, on a somewhat coordinated board and just getting way too much money in. Um, they overvalue over pairs a lot. Um, definitely overvalue weak, weaker draws mm -hmm. and play weaker draws too fast. Like uh, a lot of people will look and you know do some some of their homework and realize, hey, I have a wrap. Um, I'm a, I'm like flipping against top set, so it can't be that bad to get all my money in here, but. Yeah, you're flipping against top set, but on like on king jack seven, you know, if you have like a eight nine ten, or like let's say yeah eight nine ten queen even, you know, their hands are like if he has ace king queen ten with a you know a bigger wrap, okay, or a bigger straight draw and mm -hmm. like a pair, 
Or, you know, if he has like a flush draw, if there's a flush draw on board and he has a top pair and a flush draw, you're, like, you're in bad shape against those hands. So any hand that you get a lot of money in with, you're going to be flipping from behind. I think people play those hands too fast because they're like, well, you know, it can't be that bad. So they almost see these hands that they, they have a big draw and they're willing to go broke with it, but mm -hmm. they don't really have to. They can exercise some pot exactly. control with weak draws. Yeah, that's, yeah, you worded it perfectly. Like, they're willing to go broke. You, you can, you know, you're not folding. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you don't need to push the action. You don't, you're not really looking to get more money in. Okay. Well, great. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Great to talk to you. Chris Tiernet with Phil Galfon for Card Player TV.